Hi, I'm Louis Camels, and I design Yori. To assemble, you should follow exactly the very clear step-by-step -step instructions in the magazine. This video is designed to be used as a backup. We've added a troubleshooter section at the end as well. Good luck. Unpack the component packs for each phase one at a time. Place the parts on a plate or small tray so you don't lose any. Note that the issue number is marked on the back of each component pack. Hash 4, for example, indicates issue 4. Look carefully at the parts list and the exploded diagram before starting. Part numbers in the list are shown on the exploded diagram and all step-by-step -step assembly diagrams. Make sure you have the correct tools to hand. You'll need a 1.5mm, 2mm and 2.5mm Allen keys, also called hex wrenches. And you'll need a small Phillips type crosshead screwdriver. Do not use a posi-drive screwdriver. To begin stage 1, fix the column support to the underside of the base plate using three large headed M3A screws. Tighten with a 2.5mm Allen key. Push the three nylon feet into the larger holes in the base plate. Slot the central column into the column support. It should be flush with the underside. Secure it with a large M4G grub screw using a 2mm Allen key. Screw the sun onto the threaded end of the drive shaft. Slide the 55 tooth driving gear onto the drive shaft. Ensure the gear's teeth are at the bottom. Tighten the gear against the base of the sun with an M3G grub screw using a 1.5mm Allen key. Slot the mercury planet arm into the side hole in the driving gear. Lock it with an M3G grub screw. Place planet mercury into the pinhole at the top of the planet arm. Now build the first small gear set. There will be a smaller gear set for each planet, so take time to get the assembly correct. Take the two gear axles and push them together through the small hole in the end of the Venus gear arm. Ensure the larger gear axle goes on top. Locate the 65 tooth gear onto the top gear axle. Locate the 19 tooth gear onto the bottom gear axle. Fix the top gear with a short 6mm M2.3S screw. Fix the bottom gear with a longer 8mm screw. Check that the gears turn easily and do not wobble. The screws must be tight. Push the Venus gear arm onto the top of the central column so it is flush with the top. Fix with an M3G grub screw. Push the top hat bush into the top of the column. Slide the drive shaft with the sun and mercury attached down the middle of the central column. Ensure the gears mesh. Place the Zodiac calibration ring over the rim of the base plate. Stage 2 adds the working parts and planets. Start with phase 1 which adds the engraved gear and Venus assembly using components supplied with issues 5 to 7. Begin by placing the gear spindle inside the gear collar. Make a sandwich by placing a 41 tooth gear on top and the 39 tooth gear on the bottom. Fix each of the gears with three 6mm M2.3S screws. Secure the top gear first, then align the screw holes in the bottom gear with the sockets in the gear spindle that were not used for the top gear. Tighten both gears firmly. Release the central column from the column support by undoing the grub screw. Slide a plastic washer onto the central column, then slide the Venus gear up the column until it meshes with the small gear above. Lock the gear collar to the gear spindle with an M3G grub screw. Take the Venus planet arm and note that one end has a hole for the planet's pin and the other is blank. Insert the blank end into the side of the collar. Lock it with an M3G grub screw, ensuring the arm stands upright. Insert the planet Venus into its pinhole in the top of the arm. 
Fix the moon gear arm to the underside of the large engraved gear using a flathead PM3 screw, ensuring the two holes line up. Assemble the moon gear set by clipping the outsized gear axles together from either side of the engraved gear. The larger gear axle goes on top. Locate the 31 tooth gear over the top gear axle. Locate the 23 tooth gear over the bottom gear axle. Fix the 31 tooth gear with a 6mm M2.3S screw. Fix the 23 tooth gear with a longer 8mm M2.3S screw. Slide another plastic washer onto the central column. Slide the assembled moon gear set and engraved gear up the shaft. Fix with an M3G grub screw. Refix the central column to the column support and tighten the large grub screw. The second phase of Stage 2 adds Planet Earth and the Moon together with their support arms and gears using components supplied with issues 8 to 11. Fix the 90 tooth gear to the Earth spindle using three 6mm M2.3S self-tapping screws. Place the Earth support arm over the Earth spindle. Ensure the collar for the vertical support arm is on top. Fix the 47 tooth gear on the top, aligning three 6mm M2.3S screws with the holes in the spindle not used previously. Lock the earth support arm to the earth spindle with an M3G grub screw. Start building the small gear sandwich by pushing the two gear axles together through the smaller hole in the planet gear arm. The larger axle goes on top. Place the 36 tooth gear over the lugs on the top axle. Place the 22 tooth gear over the bottom axle. Fix the 36 tooth gear with a 6mm M2.3S screw. Fix the 22 tooth gear with a longer 8mm M2.3S screw. Check that the gears rotate smoothly. Release the central column from the column support by undoing the grub screw. Slide a plastic washer onto the central column. Then slide the large gear sandwich up the column until it meshes with the moon gear set above. Slide another plastic washer onto the central column. Slide the assembled small gear sandwich up the shaft and mesh with the gear set above. Fix with an M3G grub screw. Ensure every gear sandwich is tight against the previous one throughout every assembly phase and is separated with a plastic washer. Refix the central column to the column support and tighten the large grub screw. Push the earth spindle bush into the collar of the earth support arm. Slide the 11 tooth gear onto the base of the vertical support arm and engage it with the small locking pin. Stand the vertical support arm in its collar on the earth support arm. Mesh the 11 tooth gear with the engraved gear. Push the pin of planet earth through the collar of the moon and into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase two is now complete.